right, so we had some questions about supplements and, you know, nutrition, things that we eat or take with us during the races, and uh, we have them kind of assembled right here. Yeah. No particular order if you want to jump in. What uh, what do you got over there, Damer? Yep, so the first thing I like doing is on the longer races, I like wearing the vest. Uh, Mac wear is a little bit different pack, so our pack choices are different, but I do like putting Tailwinds really nice uh, addition to water gives you that calories we spent a ton of time researching just how much your body breaks down whatever's in your body at that time right. during a race it was like it's like a 200 calorie limit to what your body can kind of handle while you're in the middle of an activity and uh, tailwinds is is a pretty much all nutrition caloric input that you just dump into your water right and just go so kind of it tastes pretty good too I, they, they recommend a certain amount to use per uh, number of ounces of water i like to lower it a little bit because it, it is I, I think it's very no not very but it is salty that's like the first thing that i noticed it's an electrolyte sort of supplement thing so you're going to notice a little bit of uh, salt flavor but I, I think you've got the mandarin orange. I have the same, yeah. I've never done anything other than the mandarin yeah, it, orange flavor, so there's always like a berry flavor too. Just didn't really sound appealing, but. Pretty tasty. Mandarin orange is nice, and dosing it a little bit less, I think it's perfect because it also gets rid of that kind of awful rubber the taste that stank you get taste in, in, your that, bladder. in that camelback. Yeah. The only thing I don't recommend, which I've done, is just throwing my pack in my garage after a race and let it sit there and the shit grows mold <laughs> and pretty much hideous. ruins the bladder. That's hideous. <laughs> it's like, so that's gross. But Tailwinds is uh, something we both actually use and uh, recommend to add to your water. Um, <clears throat> if I'm doing about two liters of water, uh, I typically put in two scoops. It's a hundred calories uh, per scoop. I think uh, per serving in the packets, it's 200 calories as well. You get some yes. sodium uh, per servings, 303 milligrams, just in case anyone is interested. You get some potassium, yeah. some carbohydrates, a little bit of calcium, and a little bit of magnesium. Anybody's interested in seeing what's on the back of the bag, it's here. That's gonna look terrible because it's kind of focusing on our faces just check them out uh, online tailwindnutrition.com highly uh, recommended yep. so I've tried some different stuff me personally I hate the gels I hate the consistency of the gels it was like I hate the fact that I feel like I gotta drink a gallon of water after I drink one of those little that's, gels. That's fair enough. So the gels are out. I have done some EFS, which is kind of that awful gel with a little bit more of a water mixture. So it's a little bit easier to drink. It's kind of like an ultra marathoners go to. Just carry that. Don't carry any, like take the water that's on the course and get your calories from these um, kind of pre-packaged bottles of EFS. You can actually buy them uh, in larger quantities too and, and kind of mix them in and, and do that. These are kind of nice if you're wearing a vest and you just drop them in. I still am not a fan. It still has that jelly consistency to me. So I stopped using them, but I tried them. So EFS is a cool option for you. You may love it. It may be a great just uh, caloric intake during a race. Uh, not for me. I don't think, uh, Mac, you haven't tried that stuff. Not so it. much, but, I, you know, on the other end, I, I, I can tolerate the gels. And specifically, well, I can tolerate one gel. And I like these in the box over here. These are peanut butter. Goo. <laughs> All right. No caffeine. I don't, I don't really like, I drink copious amounts of coffee, okay? So I'm not one of these guys, don't drink any caffeine, don't take any coffee, you know, fuck you guys. But I don't like to work out and deal with caffeine. It gives me lead legs. My legs feel very solidified and slow. I don't like that, I can't jump, I can't run very well. So these have no caffeine. These are peanut butter. They are, uh, let's see, 100 calories per serving. They have a little bit of protein too. That's important to me because I like the, the, the recovery process starts pretty much for me as soon as I start going. I start burning calories, I start using my muscles. I need a little bit of protein in there. That's just me. 
These are pretty good. To me, they taste a lot like this. Okay. Oh my goodness. Clean living. Say so. Charlie Foxtrotters will be like, ah, ah, this tastes good. This tastes good. This is what I use. Longer races, uh, every two miles, I'm gonna suck down one of these with some water. And guess what's in my water? <laughs> All right, good combination. Um, yep, see now on the, on the peanut butter, I'm not oh, a fan of the won't. goo, but I'm, I do like to carry MRE uh, meals ready to eat, military packaged peanut butter. It does fucking It was like, definitely on the Ultra Beast, I sucked two of these down. And uh, maybe a beast, I would carry one of these. Anything less than a beast, I wouldn't bother. But uh, it just gives you protein, it gives you a little bit. And you know what? It was like, you can kind of feel mid-race or just at those times, you just feel like you're bonking. And it was like getting a little, just protein, getting something in your body. And it was like, just, these are nice. It was like, they are from uh, military uh, meal rations, but you can buy these kind of in quantity on eBay and now Amazon. I've seen them, so I was like, I just like the peanut butter. It was like it's definitely easier for me to tolerate than goose, but that's just personal opinion. One thing that we both, I think, will agree on. Yeah, definitely. The stingers, the, uh, honey, honey stingers. Delicious. Different. They yeah. come in a whole bunch of different flavors. I don't know if you have a favorite. Mine is the uh, the caramel. These are 150 yeah, calories per waffle, and uh, they've also got a little bit of protein, one gram per serving. I, I, yeah, I, I, like, I love the honey. And it was like the taste. Those are good too. The honey's. I mean, it was like. I've had the, the lemon as well. Lemon. Chocolate is okay. It's like lemon. It was like there's a strawberry. There's a bunch of flavors, so it depends on your taste. We usually were eating these during like an ascent. It was yeah. Like it tends to. You walk it slowly. You can kind, chew. You can kind of chew, and it was like downhill. You're, you're absolutely trying to pick up the pace and uh, and eat some time back. Here's why. Because you're disgusting <laughs> eating on camera. Oh. One. You mean? I like them. They have a consistency of like um, a waffle ice cream cone. Yeah. You know, yeah. they're pliable. Yeah. All right. If you're going to eat these when it's cold, keep them close to your body because yeah, they get kind of hard. They get hard. But yeah, if you're walking uphill, going slowly, chew them then. Because if you're trying to eat them when you're on the hoof, it gets a little hard. They get a little dry. And if you're eating, but they're delicious. If you're eating these during a race, don't fucking throw the wrappers on the ground. No, it's like, scumbag. Give me a fucking break. It was like, how many races and you're in the middle of the woods on some trail that's never been used before? Gel packets and these fucking yeah. things all over the place. Yeah, you fuckers. Cle just clean pack it. in, pack out. Clean up after yourself. Clean your shit up. Mm -hmm. Just throw it in a pocket and keep going. Especially if you're wearing a vest or a camelback or something. But they are very tasty. There's no question. I, we can eat them. Eat them now. Eat them. I eat am. Them I'm sorry. But, but mid-race, they're good. Okay, so next, I happen to like these a lot. They are the uh, cliff blocks, and so does Spartan. Spartan uses them and kind of cuts them in half and uh, gives you some samples at like one station, uh, depending on the race. Um, I love them. I carry them in the vest. I mean, little, little weight. It was like easy chews, give you just enough. It was like 100 calories. I mean, it was like, they're perfect. It's like, I like them. It's like just enough to keep you going. Uh, Mac tends to have a bit of a strategy when he's, uh, during a course, he's going to eat it every two miles or he's going to do, so he's very just logical. We're both running GPS watches. We both know exactly how far we've gone, where the next step is. It was like, I tend to just let it flow and feel my body, whereas he's just methodical and just sticking to a schedule. Both ways seems to work for both of us. And here's some of the things that we're doing. And I uh, see something over there that we, we neither have, one of us really, we, really like. We have a few more here. But if, fuck, those things fucking work. They're disgusting. So <laughs> I, I think we found this just on like the marathon scene where, and you find them everywhere. It's the mustard packets. I mean, they taste horrible. They're fucking they yellow. Taste, they taste horrible. Yellow mustard is gross. Yellow mustard is It was like just, terrible. but you can buy these any, I mean, just steal them from anywhere. Yeah. It was like every fast food. You <laughs> go buy a pretzel, a hot pretzel <laughs> or a hot dog. Thank you very much. But <laughs> absolutely carry these because the second you get a cramp, it was like, take it. very quickly too. And in fact, as you were doing like the Ultra Beast, 
we were taking these just as a preventative, you know, and you know what? It was like we've been going on for a while. Like, it doesn't take long for that cramp to just, just boom. Lock right it in. Like, yeah. So we would take these. So I tend to carry, as the race length goes up, I carry more and more of these in my vest. It's easy to get to. Smart. And I was like, you know what? It's time to suck on one of these. And goddamn, they're awful. But, it's, but they were like, amazing. And usually we wound up handing some of these out. So I'm like, hey, Corman. Yeah, you, you, you walk by a guy and he's, he's on the side and he's grabbing the back of his calf. And it was like, yeah, you know exactly what it is. Here you go, dude. Take one of these. I hope you have a few more because uh, they help almost instantly. Somewhere. I mean, it's like, Within within a minute, a minute. usually right. it was like sixty that seconds. Like, yeah. oh, I'm feeling better. Some somewhere I read that's a placebo. That actually doesn't work. <laughs> really? Bullshit. That's bullshit. bullshit. They, yeah. they absolutely work. They weigh next to nothing. Carry five, six of them if you need them. And like you mentioned, the longer the race, carry some more. So, yep. so kind of going along on that kind of quick, kind of quick hit like a mustard is. I was like, I, I've got these salt tabs. And they come in, I mean, here's a bottle. Some of them come with caffeine and without. It was like, so I've got like a single package, which I kind of like to carry. It's waterproof, so it's not gonna get, yeah, it's not gonna like get that. all fucked up when you go through a water obstacle. So you don't have to dump the vest if, you don't, if you're not in the mood. Or the bottle if you want to refuel. I do carry sometimes. So here's a little waterproof container, and Mac knows that I'm nearby because the thing rattles <laughs> if I've got a few of these uh, in here, but I don't take them that often, but again, it's like Ultra Beast. I was like, grab a capsule. I had one of those like at the end. Friggin' mm -hmm. horse pill, but it was like, right. take that, a little bit of water, and again, it's just, it's just adding the salts back into your body. So I've been using those for a couple of years. And that's a uh, salt stick. I think I got these at REI. So thanks REI, I expect free stuff now. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, recently, actually this year, I started using salt stick, also came out. It was actually half eaten because we used these at the uh, super I tried one of that those. we just finished. And I actually kind of like those. Yeah, so these are, as opposed to the capsule you have to swallow and wait for it to dissolve, to, to dissolve. The uh, chewables are pretty strong tasting. This one's a lemon lime, there's also an orange, but you just take this one out and just chew it up and you definitely feel the sweet, you definitely feel the salt, and it's pretty it's, good, it's, like a Smarties kind of flavor and consistency. Yeah. Wasn't bad, I kind of like that it's one. It's pretty instantaneous, so I think I'm probably gonna start phasing out the capsules and just start going with right the chews. It was like, I liked them a lot, and it was like, just felt good. Yep. Now, if you're wondering how to carry all of this shit, there are a couple of different ways. My least favorite would be to be in a backpack, because then you'd have to, like, yeah, it's tough. It was like, you take it to, off, you or take ask a buddy off. to help you with... I mean, maybe if you take your pack off at each obstacle, you got some time to dig through. You could do that. You could do that. It's like, sometimes we take the pack off, sometimes we don't. Sometimes we're actually really pushing for speed, or we're trying to up our time, or qualify for whatever. Damer and I have different approaches. I like yours. You got them in the vest, yes. where you can get to them like yep. you know, wherever you need to. I, uh, since I have a different Camelback type of setup with the Dolphin Pack, I have a race belt. These things are I don't know, five, six bucks. And not a major investment right here. Got two pockets. Your ID and your mustard can go over here. You need to register. You whip out your ID. It goes right in there. Your mustard for an emergency when you need it for your crap. That's, uh, your cramp. that's assuming you're too cheap to do the five dollar bag check. <laughs> or, or you're focused on the race and you just want to get going and you don't need any complications. Or, or the Ultra Beast when the bag check was actually not open. It was not open at it all. It wasn't yeah. even open. Where do we put our bags? Uh, there's your bin. Yeah. <laughs> that is true. So for me, for like the Ultra Beast, I had, I think, two waffles and I might have had four or five gels. I'll do four gels. Alright, kind of stuff them in there, and they're right by your waist when you need them. Yep, so while, while he's putting that stuff in, I do 
pretty much the same setup in my vest. I'll have about two waffles and then I'll do the cliff blocks instead. He's like, mine sits on my vest. His sits pretty nicely in the, on that uh, you know, little waistband. Like, that is kind of cool. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's accessible and I could get to it when I need to. If you ever needed to use like a laser uh, range finder to see how far away the spear throw is, you can also fit that in here. So and it goes right across your waist. And when you don't want to reach for your stuff, you just put it in the back, get it out, you know, out of your way. Yeah, right? That's a pretty good design. I think that kind of covers it, right? Yeah. 